Hey guys, it's Mr. Schmidt here, and in this video, we're going to start looking at macroeconomics. So macroeconomics is the study of the economy as a whole. It looks at the big picture of the economy. So in microeconomics, which is what we've been spending the vast majority of our time on up to this point, we've been looking at individual consumers, businesses, industries, whereas macroeconomics looks at the whole economy put together, the zoomed out view of what's going on. In macroeconomics, we look at three key questions, which are how is the macro economy doing or the economy? We'll use those terms synonymously. How can the macro economy be improved in the short run? So in a short period of time, how do we fix the economy? And then over the long run, how do we promote economic growth? How do we make sure our economy is growing for future generations? These are the questions that we'll be tackling over the next several units as we begin to study macroeconomics. This unit that we're beginning uh, today is going to be looking at this first question primarily, which is how is the macro economy doing? And we'll look at that through three key indicators. GDP, which is gross domestic product, which is how much stuff an economy is producing uh, in the simplest terms. And then we'll look at something called unemployment, which you may already have some idea of what that is, which basically is how many people don't have jobs versus how many people do. And then third, we'll look at something called inflation, which looks at prices and what's happening to prices. Are they stable? Are they increasing? Are they decreasing? What's happening to the general price level throughout the economy? So that'll be the primary focus here. The last thing I wanted to do is just give you a little history lesson, a little context as to how macroeconomics came about, and then we'll wrap up the video. So macroeconomics came out of the Great Depression. Up until the early 1930s, late 1920s, the prevailing theory around how do you fix an economy, which is what the second bullet point gets at here, was to simply do nothing. Okay? Economies would basically fix themselves. They would self-correct. And the, the job of the government was not to fix the economy, but simply protect property rights, protect the country, national defense, that kind of thing. But when the Great Depression happened, and so many people became unemployed. A lot of people um, went into very deep, abject poverty. The government, primarily under Franklin Delano Roosevelt, decided that it was time to take a more active role in the economy. The government could intervene in the economy and actually make people's lives and the economy in general better. And so that's where this idea of macroeconomics, this branch of economics was born. And so compared to microeconomics, macroeconomics is relatively young. It's only been around for around 80 years or so, whereas micro is hundreds and hundreds of years old as a discipline. And so this, the, the remaining part of the AP economics course is we're going to be looking at the big picture of the economy, which is macroeconomics. So that's all for this video, introducing you to the study of macroeconomics. Until next time, have a great day.